mampi wa dio ndio na mampi mampi maana na internet ya miadi hadi wa video card ya shoe ya style azid mm mampi upgrade na mampi back to your regular that one name kill police greetings welcome to edtv news channel the people's channel in this report we have two stories for talk about coming out of the parish of Trelawney and Clarendon stay tuned for the full reports blessings to all subscribers and viewers if you're here for the first time you can support the channel by like subscribe share hit the notification bell so people, we'll start off in the parish of Trelawney, where most of you would have saw a viral video that came out yesterday with a man known only as Jason Wright, street name Danger. In that video, he brandished him new firearm and said that one year after drop out police when he was talking to him ex-girlfriend Mampe. No people, we can officially say that Jason Wright is now a wanted man because him threatened the police and him also threatened him ex-girlfriend. Now, before we get into the report, people, Jason Wright, if you are watching this video, Take my advice if you choose life over job out and turn yourself into any police station in a Jamaica. And if you choose not to do so, you can just only know that your days are numbered. Now, people, I've heard a voice note coming from Jason Wright. Telling his ex-girlfriend, Mampe, that anywhere in Boca, he must finish her off. And he must also say in that voice note that he no afraid of police and soldier. He say again in that voice note that Mampe don't know who he is or him get the name Danger. Because of many things him do. Where well, only Papa boy out there. Not do yet. So my advice. To Mampe. Is to get in touch. With the police. ASAP. Because. The longer. Jason Wright out there. Your life is in danger. So we are getting into. The police report. Detectives assigned to the Trelawney Police Division have launched an investigation into a video posted on social media on Tuesday, October 17, which has caught the attention of local authorities and the wider public. The police allege that in the video, 33-year-old Jason Wright, a farmer, from Cemetery Road, Troy, in Chilani, is seen handling a firearm and making threatening remarks towards lawmen, specifically stating Mampe, the one year name dropout police, referencing the weapon in his possession. According to the police, initial investigation have determined that the video was recorded at Wright's residence in Troy District in Trelawney, where he resides with his father and uncle. The police said, in response to the viral video, an early morning operation was conducted at Wright's residence on October 18 this morning. They say, while Wright was not seen during the operation, two of his close relatives were taken into custody for questioning. Wright, the police say, is identified as a frequent visitor to Kingston and Breeze Hall 
in Christiana police era of Manchester. As a result of the video and subsequent findings, he has become a person of interest in a case concerning possession of prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition, the police said. The police are urging right to turn himself in immediately. He is encouraged to do so in the company of his attorney, a justice of peace, or any reputable citizen. So Jason White, the police then warn you and tell us eh, for turning yourself. And if you choose not to do so, you can just know, sir, your days are number. Long run, short catch. Now, people, we'll move on. We will say, a fisherman now charge for dropout. And we'll get into the report. A 28-year-old man has been charged with the dropout following the dropout of his wife, in Portland Cottage, Clarendon, in May. Charge is Rory Palmer, a fisherman of Portland Cottage in the parish. Dropout is 28-year-old Jada Whitehead of Mars, Toronto, Canada, and Shearer's Heights, Portland Cottage in Clarendon. Reports from the Lionel Town Police are that about 4 p.m. on May 12, Palmer and his spouse had a dispute that got physical. It is reported that Palmer threw a fan at her, hitting her in the face, after which he slammed her head into a wall several times. The police were alerted. On their arrival, Whitehead was seen lying in a bed unresponsive. She was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced drop out. Palmer was taken into custody and initially charged with assault, occasioning him grievous bodily harm. Following extensive investigation and consultation with the personnel from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution and the Crime Office, his charge was upgraded to drop out, the police said. Whitehead, who was a school board employee in Taranto, was reportedly visiting Palmer to celebrate their wedding anniversary. Very sad story, people. Please leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. One aim, one God, one destiny. Walk good, talk good, live good, blessings.